Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how the nervous system can control the heart rate and contraction. So, first thing we need to talk about is, we know the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions of the autonomic, that's automatic, nervous system. You don't control this consciously, but the sympathetic nervous system is that fight or flight, it gets stimulated in times of stress or fear, and the parasympathetic nervous system is the rest and digest, it gets stimulated in times of digesting and relaxation. Because we know exactly what happens to our body in these scenarios, you should know which one causes an increase in heart rate and contractility, and which one causes a decrease in heart rate. Well, sympathetic, fight or flight, what happens when you're scared? Heart rate increases and the contractility or the force of the heart rate increases as well. Now this is sympathetic innovation. Let's take a look. The sympathetic innovation is going to begin for the heart at the cardio acceleratory center. It's a big name, but this is the part that controls the speed of the heart. It is here at the medulla. So remember your brainstem, right? Your brainstem has the midbrain pons medulla and this is the cerebrum, the chunk of the brain. So midbrain pons medulla, lowest part of the brainstem is the medulla and at the medulla you've got a specific area dedicated to increasing the speed of the heart called the cardio accelerator center and we've got sympathetic nerve fibers present as you can see here and what they do is they send a signal down the spinal cord until it hits the thoracic one two three and four area so your thoracic one two three four as you can see here and shoots a signal out to what we term the paravertebral ganglia okay so for the sympathetic nervous system there is a group of cell bodies that sits outside the spinal cord that we term the para, meaning next to, vertebral, so next to the vertebrae, ganglia, just meaning a group of cell bodies outside the central nervous system. And this is where the sympathetic nervous system synapses with their neurons, okay, with the next neuron. And you can see that happening here. First neuron shoots out T1 to T4 and then synapses with various cell bodies of the next sympathetic neuron here at the chain at the paravertebral ganglia. Now they send this, now they go up and down, right? And they send their signals out going towards the heart. Like I said, this is a sympathetic nerve fiber or nerve fibers going to the heart. And where does it innovate? It innovates the SA node, it innovates the AV node, and it innovates the myocardium of the ventricles. So I'll say it again. The SA node sets the rhythm of the heart. It spontaneously sends signals between 70 to 100 times a minute. This is what sets the pace or rhythm of your heart. The AV node, if the SA node cramps itself, the AV node will kick in and that spontaneously depolarizes around about 40 to 60 times a minute, so a little bit slower. So that's the reason why the SA node sets the rhythm because it just does it faster than the AV node, okay? Now, the muscle, if you've got sympathetic nerves innervating the muscle, it's gonna tell them to contract harder. So SA node and AV node, speed, musculature, contractile force. So the sympathetic nervous system, when it sends a signal down, it's going to release noradrenaline or norepinephrine if you're in the States. And this noradrenaline, what it's going to do is this. The noradrenaline will, so this is the cell of these nodal cells, right? SA node or AV node. And you know already that there's heaps of sodium outside the cell, there's heaps of calcium outside the cell, and there's heaps of potassium inside the cell. And if I were to measure the charge difference between outside and inside, we know inside is more negatively charged compared to outside. If you're unsure why, watch one of my previous videos. Inside is actually sitting in around about negative 55 millivolts compared to outside. And we know if we want these SA or AV nodes to send signals through the heart, they need to hit negative 40. That's the threshold. Now to go from negative 55 to negative 40, that's going more positive. Negative 55 is more negative than negative 40, right? So to go from negative 55 to negative 40, positive things need to go into the cell. What are the positive things? Sodium and calcium. Now, if enough sodium and calcium go in, it hits negative 40, we've hit the threshold that opens up a whole bunch of more calcium channels and huge amounts of calcium shoot in, making it really positive inside the cell. And now what we've done is we've sent an electrical signal through the SA node and the atria. Now, what do sympathetic neurons do? The sympathetic innovation, when it releases adrenaline or noradrenaline, it binds the specific receptors here that are called beta-1 receptors. Beta-1 receptors are located at the SA node, AV node, and the myocardium. And what they do is they let sodium and calcium in. 
allowing for this to happen more frequently. Hence, the heart rate increases. That's the sympathetic neuron. What about here at the myocardium? Is it doing the same thing? Well, myocardium, in order for it to contract, it only cares about calcium. So what happens here is it more specifically allows for more calcium in. Calcium into the cell, increased contractile force. So that's how the sympathetic neurons tell the heart to increase its contractile force. So sympathetic, increase heart rate, increase contractility. Beautiful. Now what about the parasympathetic rest and digest? It slows the heart down. Now this is coming from, again the medulla, but the dorsal aspect of the medulla, and this is the cardio inhibitory center. And when the sympathetic neurons get activated, they can sign up with an interneuron, that's simply a neuron that's the intermediate between one and another, and that synapses with neurons of the parasympathetic nervous system, or more specifically, the vagus, in the dorsal or back aspect of the medulla. This then fires vagal nerves out. Now the vagus nerve is a cranial nerve, so it doesn't go down the spinal cord. The, uh, the vagus nerve comes out of the head and neck, okay? And as you can see, it's shooting out, and what it does is it innovates the SA node and AV node, and rarely, or not many fibers innovate the musculature, so I haven't drawn it in. So the main effect of the inhibitory signals from the parasympathetic neuron, specifically the branches of the vagus, is that it goes to the SA node and AV node and tells them to slow their signals down. When you think about this, how does, or how could it, tell this, mus uh, this nodal cell to slow its firing down? I told you to increase it, more positive things need to go in. So what do you think? To decrease it, again, remember, in order for it to send a signal, it needs to hit negative 40, so it needs to become positive inside. But to slow it down, to make it harder to send a signal, what you could do is send positive things out, right? And what do we have inside? Potassium. So what the parasympathetic fibers do, more specifically the vagus, when it innovates the SA node and AV node, it releases acetylcholine. So I said sympathetic release noradrenaline, the parasympathetic released acetylcholine, and that told potassium to leave the cell. This positive stuff is exiting, which means it goes from negative 55 even lower. Now when it goes even lower, the distance that it needs to then go from, let's just say negative 60 or negative 65 to negative 40 is far greater than negative 55 to negative 40, which means you need way more positive things coming in. It makes it harder to send a signal, harder for the heart to contract, harder for the heart rate to increase. So the way the parasympathetic nerve fibers do it, they release acetylcholine to the SA and AV node. It increases the efflux of potassium out of the cell, making it more polarized. That's called hyperpolarization, which means it makes it more difficult to depolarize and therefore slows the heart down. So this is how the central nervous system tells the heart to speed up or slow down.